is up guys welcome back to the channel we are back it is wednesday and i cannot wait for the weekend but we're halfway there guys so for those who are new to the channel i definitely appreciate you clicking on this video if you enjoy what you see click that subscribe button and of course don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up it definitely does help out the channel but it is that time yet again we have another mail call now this package is from gary redmond if you guys know who he is he was the previous king of the tower now jacob moved him down into second but my man was sitting on top for the longest time in his 2005 mustang so he said he was sending in some new racers which i can't wait to see but i don't know what else is in the box but prior to this package guys we got one from Mad Visions. Now I didn't film it because I was expecting this M2 hauler and check this out guys. Beautiful man, another chase piece of the 1970 Boss 429 with the awesome fighter jet livery man. This thing is super cool. This is my third one. Um, I only have two in the collection now. I traded the other M2 hauler chase to my buddy Sean because um, you guys know he is another Mustang collector and I wanted him to get this one in his collection so we actually worked out a pretty good deal and so now I have two again but I will be opening this one at some point uh, Mad Visions is really trying to uh, push me to open it which I will just at some point just not today but huge huge thanks to you and of course he threw in an extra one which of course I opened already because I was so excited um, but here we go, the 1970 Mach 1 351 with the VP Racing. I opened it because it had the rubber band wrapped around the hood, keeping it closed. And uh, if you guys don't know, the rubber bands really hurt the car. I actually had to open this one up because it had a rubber band piece stuck to the body. Um, and it does ruin the paint. I've had a couple where it ruined the paint or it left some type of residue and it's very hard to get off. And if you don't, it does remove paint. So I opened it up, took it off, and have the hood open. But this thing is beautiful, man. Definitely an awesome livery. So I already cleared a spot. We are going to put it right here next to the other ones because I'm starting to run out of room for all of my M2 Mustangs, which line up all the way down here, and they're double stacked down that way. So Pia, thank you so much for that. And he sent in a racer. Check this out. Madison's racer right here the Dodge Viper from I believe it was the Speed Series I think it's in this one nope Night Burners there we go out of the Night Burner series multi-pack we got the green Dodge Viper such a beautiful one can't wait to see how well this does so we'll go ahead and put it up in the lineup so Pia thank you so much for throwing in the extra M2 that Mustang is beautiful and of course the racer for the track. I'm super stoked to see how well that Viper does against everyone else who is trying to fight towards the tower. Stay tuned for his episode. I actually sent him a package as well of some goods he was really needing for the collection. So I know he said he was going to do some customs with extras and I cannot wait to see what he does because he does some amazing work. So yeah, a huge shout out to Mad Visions for this one. So back to this package guys. Let's go ahead and open it up and see what's inside all right here we go no we have some racers Let's see if we got some heavy contenders here Ooh, okay here we go next track car is number one Ooh, look at that oh that is beautiful man this is a metal on metal Monte Carlo oh that is nice people are sending in the metal on metal Ooh, this thing is heavy check that out man that livery is gorgeous nice yeah that is awesome dude i definitely hope to see i definitely cannot wait to see how well this does against that corvette because that corvette is insanely fast but of course you also have to get through big daddy who is also in a similar type of vehicle metal on metal very fast so sweet man oh that's gonna be a good one and then he has a backup car Ooh, here we go we got the 84 corvette nice emerald green that is gorgeous too man that's sweet all right so you got 
your main car, and then you have a backup racer. Oh my gosh, dude. Here we go, starting it off with some reds. My man. Look at that, you got the 2018 Camaro SS Red Edition. Oh, dude, that is awesome. Now, I do have one loose already, so I will keep this one carded. Man, that is sweet. Definitely love the reds for this year. There we go, nice. And followed up, we have the 2018 Demon from the Red Edition. Definitely a beauty, man. Gosh. Don't really collect too many Mopars. I do have a lot of Daytonas and stuff. I always do pick those up, but uh, I am a huge fan of the Dodge Demon. And of course the new Demon 170 that came out. That thing is insane. I cannot say anything. Normally I'm like, eh, it's a big old boat, but the Dodge 170, man, that Demon is just wicked. 1,025 horsepower, zero to 60 in 1.66 seconds. In Insane. So it's good that Dodge is going out with the bang with the Demon 170. Hopefully we see that in a casting at some point. Maybe I see Auto World or M2 doing the last call Dodge Demon. I think that would be an epic one to get in a collection. Um, but here we go. We got two red editions first off and then the DMC DeLorean. My man, I just picked this one up. But I think I'm going to open this one up and put it in the DeLorean display, which I do have over there. Um, or it could be a racer. I don't know, but here we go. Beautiful baby blue from the 80s series. Such an awesome one. Plus, I want to see if that hatch opens up. Yeah, I definitely want to check that out. Then we got the Copo Camaro. We just picked this one up as well, but it's always good to have more for either a custom or if someone else needs one, at least I have an extra one to help them out. So here we go, man. This one will probably stay in the collection. The one I picked up will be up for trade or or vice versa, whichever, but nice. Ooh, here we go, I don't have this one. 2017 Camaro ZL1 recolor in yellow. Oh, that is beautiful. Check that out, man. You got the fender stripes in the back, which tie into the ones going down the door. Of course, you have the ZL1 hood deco. That thing is awesome, dude. Very nice. Very nice Camaro. Gosh, that yellow's nice. So, Muscle Mania series, and this is out of F case. Oh, nice. You're already getting F case over there. Let's see. Was this a carryover from E? Nope, still E case. Nice. And next up, here we go. Nice. Nice. Great addition for the Miata collection out of the Hot Wheels Modified. Love how they have the carbon fiber on there, but it's the 2015 MX-5 Miata in satin black. Love the setup, copper PR5s, red base. Oh yeah, these are sweet, man. I love these versions of the Miatas. I just love large wing castings. I think they're just really cool. Oh, and here we go, man. The Renault Sport RS01. Dude, this thing is gorgeous. Look at that. Now this is the main line of the Super which is super beautiful, but this main line looks super cool with the white and black on top of that red. Beautiful choice in wheels, of course. The white lace wheels do look good on this one. I don't know if any other wheel would look as good. I think the lace wheels really tie it together. But here you go, Hot Wheels Turbo Series Renault. Man, that is awesome. Another recolor for the collection. I think I have maybe six other color variations to the Renault. Oh, and here we go, man. The Dodge Viper. Yes. Awesome, man. Here we go. Oh, and they threw in the Advan style wheels. I never noticed that. It's almost like a nod to the older Vipers they did with the three spokes, but beautiful yellow. You got the black stripes running down the center, of course, the RT10 badge, and no front or rear tampos. They never really do any details on the Vipers for some reason. But when it comes to the Viper, if you want a really good detailed casting, go to Matchbox because their latest one in the charcoal metallic is, is insanely gorgeous. But this kind of looks like the other version that came out. Let's see, where are my Vipers at? Here we go. We had this one. This was an older blue card with the gold Ultra Hots. Black headlights, I miss when they did the black headlight covers. Um, but it looks close to this one. 
except this one is more of a pale yellow. Can't really see it in, on camera because on camera it looks very yellow, but in person it's kind of a pale. But uh, let's see. Very close, very, very similar. I don't know. Which one do you like better, the one with the Advan style wheels or the PR5s? But I kind of dig it. I kind of dig it. Oh, this is the Matchbox version I was talking about in this beautiful color. Check it out. You got some blacked out headlights, some tail lights on there. Just well done. So let's go ahead and put the yellow one on top of that. Um, and yeah, it's almost kind of a nod to the older Vipers of, you know, throwing the three spoke wheels on there. There we go. So I will be opening this one and putting it in that jammer as well. And then next up is the Subaru WRX STI recolor in white. Definitely don't have this one yet. Out of the Hot Wheels J Imports, beautiful pearl white with the pink stripe and the gold 10 spokes. Nice. Is this another F case? It is. So F case is looking pretty good. F case looks pretty good. All right, what else is in here? Oh my gosh, dude, we got loose cars. My dude, I was not expecting all these extras. You said you were gonna send racers. <laughs> oh, no way. <laughs> Oh, sorry guys, I still have a cough. No way, dude. God freaking Zilla. Dude, yes, my man. My man coming in with the GTR R32. Yes, we finally got it, man. Finally freaking got it. You know how many times I've seen people's posts of them finding so many multiples. Thank you so much for this. Oh, this is gonna be a great addition. This is a great addition right here. Freaking awesome. Love the Godzilla livery. Super cool, but man, this is such a hype cast right now. Everyone is just selling these like crazy. And I don't get it. Like I, I love the R32s and I know they sell sometimes, but what makes this particular one? Is it just because it's Godzilla? Dude, thank you so much for throwing that in there, man. He threw in a super chase. Nice. My dude, hooking it up. Definitely didn't have to throw this one in there, man, but I do have one already. It's still in the protector over there. I don't know why it's over there. It should be on the wall with supers and all the other good stuff. But here we go. We have a second one. I will actually keep this one, not for trade, but yeah, there we go. Nice. We have another one. This is the red Mustang GT from Majorette. Probably one of my favorite ones. I do have this one sitting up top, right above the police version. And I do have one loose already. We have a third one, which is perfectly fine because I will never turn another Mustang away. I can have like 30 of that exclusive and I'll be perfectly fine because it's just another Mustang in the collection. All right, let's see. Next up, we're going to get through the bigger ones first and leave the loose ones for last. Ooh, here we go. Look at this. This is that vibrant yellow that these C8s come in. Check that out, man. That thing is wicked. I love the blacked out taillights. Man, these are good. Don't sleep on these people. I'm telling you, these, these castings may be cheap but a simple wheel swap can really wake these cars up. And this is a beautiful one. Beautiful color, nice. Let's see, what is in the Target bag? Oh man, I always get like concerned, like, oh my gosh, what's next? But I get excited as well, so, oh, I don't know what to expect on this one. Let's see, oh, it's a green light. Oh, no way, dude. You gotta be kidding me, my man. You've gotta be kidding me, man. This is the chase piece from Drive. Look at that. Got the red base. Dude, nice. So I do have the regular one sitting right up here. 
So there we go, man. We have the chase. Dude, you did not have to throw this in there. But man, that looks good. It almost looks like the Boss Laguna Seca. Just throw a little red roof on there. But wow. You guys let me know, is this a Target one? Because I know Walmart has the blue wheels and then your normal green greenies have the green wheels. Is this a Target one? Because if this is a Target one, that is freaking awesome. I'd love to find just the Target ones just because they come in red. Man, dude, you guys are freaking awesome. Oh man, I was not expecting that. All right, so last ones guys, we have our loose castings. It looks like my man sent a whole bunch too. All right, first bag, we got four cars. Let's see which four these are. All right, first one that's sneaking out. Ooh, it's red. Oh, nice. Look at that Camaro, man. Ooh, that is nice. Matchbox did this one really, really well. Check it out, it got some beautiful tampos for the taillights. Got the bow tie, the wheels are probably my favorite wheels from Matchbox. And of course the headlight tampos, man. Look at that, if they can squeeze tampos inside of the grill opening, Hot Wheels can do the same thing. I mean, come on, you guys work out of the same facility but that is a beautiful Camaro. Oh, and it looks like another one. Here we go, we have this one in blue. And that's gorgeous. Ooh, I don't know which one I like more, the red or the blue? Oh man, that's a tough one because the blue looks great. Oh man, that is nice. Yeah, that is beautiful, man. Look at that, is the interior metallic? It is. They threw a little bit of metallic flake in the interior piece. Nice. Oh man, we got blue and a red Camaro. Let's see, next one. Another one, but we went with a coupe. Ooh, here we go. This is the opening hood version. Oh, nice, dude. Nice. Definitely a beautiful one right here. Look at that. And this is how they should do them, guys. Beautiful. But yeah, moving parts, dude, that is sweet. Just need some detail on the engine and man, it'd be golden. Last one. Ooh, it's gotta be a Camaro. Which one is it? Oh, look at that green. Ooh, that is nice. Gosh, that is gorgeous. And it does have the rubber wheels. Nice. Man, that looks good. Love the wheel choice of there, and it does have the opening hood. Ooh, there we go, look at that. Oh, that is nice. Holy crap, that is detailed very well. Man, so they got a tampo in there. Wow, that is beautiful, man. Look at that. Oh, and it's the super fast, there we go. 50th anniversary super fast. Gosh, that is nice. Beautiful set of Camaros right there. Next bag, don't know what this theme is. Maybe he threw them in themes, maybe not. Let's see. Oh, they might be, I don't know. First one. Oh, the mystery model, nice. Nice, I just opened mine. Here we go, we have a second one of the Ford Falcon race car. Dude, my man. Look at that, dude. Ooh, and next one. Oh, man. Sean's Fast and the Furious Mustang right here. This is the new one because it's got the PR5s. And I finally put my new one up on display. So the new one comes with PR5s. The older one was MC5s. And I think the standalone card was uh, blacked out MC5s. But here we go, man. Look at the flake. Oh my gosh, that looks so good out of the package. Man, that is beautiful. Gosh, that flake is just insane. Super glad to have that one loose. Now I can put it with all the rest of my loose ones out there. The next two. Ooh, here we go. Oh yes. Yes, my man. The freaking Cyclone, dude. Look at that deco. That is super sweet. I think this was the mystery model as well. That black with those colors. 
gosh, that is nice. Yes, dude. Oh my gosh, the new one. Here we go, man. Oh, dude, you are a lifesaver. I was legit gonna buy the 20 pack just so I can get this one. Oh man, that is nice. This is probably my favorite recolor right here. This turquoise. Oh yeah, that is nice. And of course you have the RA6 wheels on there which were on the first few releases. And not a lot of people were a fan, but I love those wheels. I've always been a fan of twisty style wheels. Kind of like the 93 Cobra fan blades. Those are just beautiful, but nice, dude. That is awesome, dude. Definitely awesome. All right, let's see. Next four looks like Mustangs. Oh yeah. Here we go, beautiful white with blue racing stripes. Ooh, this is metal on metal. Oh, dude, is this a license plate one? I think it is. Oh, I think it is. Nice. Look at that, and this thing is cherry. Oh, man. Yep, this is actually from the license plate box. Dude, thank you so much, man. That is freaking sweet. Oh, dude. Metal on metal, too. Man, I wish they brought those back. Let's see, next one, gold and black. Ooh, here we go. What is this out of? This is gorgeous. Oh, wow, Johnny Lightning. 68 GT500. Dude, that color, man. That pearlescent orange. Dude, that is nice, but the wheels, man, those black bullets. Jeez, dude, this is beautiful. I've never seen this one. And here we go, look at that. Beautiful motor crammed in there. Gosh, dude, this is sweet. And then followed up by a lime green, legend lime. Here we go, black stripes, another opening hood. Oh, man, dude. Please tell me this is the one from up here. Oh my gosh, it is. It's the ultra hot version. Oh man, yes. That means I never have to open that one. I'm always tempted to open those just so I can look at them and here we go, man. Legend Lime, Chrome Bullet Wheels. Dude, thank you so much, man. That is gorgeous. That is gorgeous, man. Oh, dude. All right, last one out of this one. Don't know, oh, it's another opening hood. Ooh, this one's cherry. Here we go. I think this is the 68, just as the other one. Oh, man, that is awesome. I do have this one on card, and I think I have a really, really rough, loose one somewhere around here. Where are you at? But either way, I do have it on card. Where are the 68s? Right there. There we go. So this is out of the Pride Rides, 1968 Fastback. But we have it loose in such good condition, guys. This thing is like mint still. Love the reverse flames over the black tampo and blue interior. But man, that is gorgeous. Like I said, I do have one that is like super rough. And these are cherry. All of these are like mint. Dude, Gary, man, thank you so much for these. This is freaking awesome. Last four. Oh, we have another Matchbox Mustang. Here we go. This is the convertible. Beautiful. Oh, this is the opening door. Check that out. When did they do an opening door Mustang? This must be a new moving parts because I have not seen this one. Gosh, man, but the detail on this is just phenomenal. Look at that. Oh, man. Oh, and we have a recolor in gold. How have I not seen these? I think I have this one, actually. I want to say I do, this beautiful pearlescent color. Let's see, do I have this color? Okay, I do. There we go, right there. I was gonna say, man, these are, I'm missing out on a whole bunch. But I do have this one, I think this one was the 2018, yep, 2018 Mustang. Beautiful, dude. Gosh, that color looks so good. Last two guys. Let's see, ooh, we have a Fox body. Oh, it's the old opening hatch. 
Nice, dude. The Dodgers version. Here we go. This was, oh my gosh, look at that. Dude, even this is cherry. Old Corgi casting Cobra, man. So this casting right here is what made this Cobra, where are you at? Where's the Fox body? Right there. So that Mustang Cobra was purchased from Corgi, which was this one right here. Except this one actually has the glass. The one on Hot Wheels doesn't have a glass on the hatch. Wow, dude, this is in really good condition. Holy crap. That is nice. Good old Corgi, man. Last one. Last one right here. Oh, another one. Oh, man. Check it out. Milwaukee Brewers. Dude, this is nice. This is so mint. My dude, thank you so much, man. Wow. Yeah, we have those two corgis, and I want to say I have a Dodgers one. And the hood and the hatch is still open over here. No, this one is the Texas Rangers. Nice. And this one actually is missing the glass. Check it out. Yeah, it's missing the glass. So now I have the Texas Rangers, the Brewers, and the... Can't even remember now. Dodgers. There we go. Can't forget the Dodgers. Everybody forgets the Dodgers. But, dude, thank you so much for the loose castings, especially the Cyclones, man. Cyclones, the Mustangs that I don't have to open, which I know that case is open for the license plate one. But still, another mint condition 68. And of course, the GT500, the Ultra Hots Mustang Fastback, dude. All of these are just beautiful. And but then you have this side with red edition, some E case, the new recolor of the ZL1. We have some racers, the Super Chase, the GT freaking R. I know I like throwing freaking in between words, but the GTR. Oh man, the Renault Viper Mazda Miata and the Chase Mustang 5.0 from Drive. I can't wait to see how well your new car does. I'm sure it's gonna do well. Metal on metal casting seem to do very, very well on the track. But you didn't have to send all of this heat, my man. Gary, thank you so much, man. I hope you guys enjoyed this one just as much as I did because I was not expecting this stuff right here, man. He said he was gonna send in a racer and then a big box shows up and it's just full of heat. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give it a huge thumbs up. Comment down below your thoughts and what you think of how well he's gonna do in that metal on metal casting of the Monte Carlo, but I think he's gonna do pretty well. Just has to get through the Corvette who is sitting on top driven by Jacob, and I think it's gonna be exciting. So stay tuned for that. And of course, until next time, this is the Mustang Hunter. Peace. All right, here we go. Check this out. Gotta open it, guys. There we go. She is free. Because like I said, I don't care about the value or what these are selling for. I wanted this for the collection. Oh man, that is just beautiful. Yep, this one. All right, let's go ahead and put these two because these are in a rough condition. So I might have to set these on their sides and put the Godzilla right there. There we go. Beautiful.